All right, guys, what's going on? Quick video for you guys today. So I just got some brand new shoes or the Saucony Ride 14s, which are, I think were released in like 2021. So they're not like brand new from the company. They're still pretty new, but not, you know, they're not like their newest models, but I got them because honestly they were on sale. Um, and I had like a thing with my credit card where if I bought from Saucony, I'd get like 20% off. So I ended up only paying like $60 for these shoes. And these are normally like $120, $130 shoes, right? So that's awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of Saucony. Um, I think they make really good shoes and their prices are not too bad either. So the value is definitely there. And they last long enough for me, you know, for somebody that puts on like a lot of miles every week um, and, and goes through shoes pretty frequently. Um, I think Saucony is like a good choice for if you're somebody like that that has to buy a shoe, you know, a new pair of shoes like every few months or so. But anyway, this is the first time I've tried this model before. I think they're gonna be good. So I'm breaking them in today with just a, an easy 30 minute run. This is actually a couple days before I'm doing the Baton Death March, which is a 26.2 mile uh, ruck march. All right, so I'm just getting an easy run in today. But I wanted to take a quick second to show you guys about something, something that I'm about to do, something I've shown in another one of my videos before, uh, but I thought this was something that would warrant like its own video so you could just find it real quick and uh, reference it later. So real quick, I just wanted to take the time to show you how I personally break in my new shoes, how I lace them, um, and then how to also tie a heel lock because I think there might be uh, a lot of people that could benefit from this information, okay? Now, I'm not saying this is how all runners do it. I think a good majority of runners do it this way, um, but this is how I do it. This is what's worked the best for me over the years of training and trying to figure things out, and it just makes the most sense to me in my mind. So I think it's worth a try for, for you, okay? So here we go. All right, so I've got the shoe. It came out of the box, right? Laces aren't even pulled out yet. They're under the tongue. So I'm gonna pull out the laces. Slip on the shoe. Now it's gonna be normal for your shoes to come with a, a little bit of wiggle room on your foot, okay? It's gonna feel like maybe it's a little too big, you're not too sure, but then also it might feel a little cramped in the toes, in the toe box, all right? That's normal, they just need to be broken in. And when you do break in your shoes, don't go on like, don't make that your long run day, okay? Make that a short run day, okay? And not your sprints either, nothing hard. It should be nice, easy work that day. Now we are gonna tighten up the laces a little bit, but not too much. We don't wanna make it super tight. We still wanna keep it a little loose, but just snug enough where our, our foot's not, you know, moving back and forth within the shoe. So that's really easy to do, not really a big deal. Make, you know, just make sure the, the foot is in there snug enough, but still has plenty of room to breathe and, and figure out the shoe. We're figuring out as we do our first run, how much tighter or how much looser we're gonna to need to make this bad boy. Now I wanna show you a real important part and that's the, uh, the heel lock, okay? So this is how you tie the heel lock. I think this is really important for most runners out there to do. This is gonna help you from your heel coming in and out of the shoe as you run. It's also gonna help keep the tongue nice and uh, straight and flat against your heel so that your heel and your feet actually do form and, and become one with the shoe, okay? This is like a huge, huge part of this process. So all you do is take the lace that's already coming out of the shoe and you're gonna put it back through that extra loop that all shoes have and we're always not really sure what that's for. Put it back through that going towards the inside. And you'll, have a, you'll keep a little loop out like this, okay? Do the same thing on the other side, leave a little loop out. Then you're gonna cross the laces, just one cross, stick them through the loops with the laces coming towards you, then tighten. And you see how those loops will pull the sides of where the heel goes into the shoe? That makes all the difference, man, I'm telling you. All right, then tie off your loops, your bunny ears. All right, and you'll feel a huge difference there in the heel. If you've never done that before, you're gonna see what I'm talking about and be like, oh my God, Grey Soldier was right. This is crazy, it's a game changer, okay? So definitely give that heel lock a shot. You're gonna see a huge difference with that. And I recommend doing that as you're breaking in your shoes so that they, the whole um, integrity of the shoe breaks in at the same time, okay? Every time I break in my shoes, I usually just do a quick tug on each lace, just like this. Nothing serious, nothing too crazy. Just a quick tug up the shoe. And that should, do, that should do the trick. It really only takes like a half inch to an inch out of the, uh, the looseness of the laces. That's, that's really about it, okay? Then I do my heel lock. And that's it, man. My, these shoes actually feel great already, I can tell you. But these things are ready to be 
broken in. Again, as you're breaking your shoes, you wanna do this nice, easy run, okay? It's not gonna be your sprint day, it's not gonna be your long run day, nice, easy. And it's gonna take you a good you know, few sessions to really break in your shoes. And as you do it, your shoes are most likely gonna loosen up on you a little bit. So just, I would recommend doing that entire process again after a, a couple or a few runs, okay? Just undo the laces all together and start fresh, do the entire process again until it feels just right and you're not having any issues with breaking in the shoes. They feel like they're super comfortable to slip on and go for a run at, at any time. Another thing I would suggest is just throw on your shoes um, either before or after your break-in run and just walk around the house with them. Maybe go around uh, your town or city and uh, run some errands with them on for the day. Something like that just to kind of just to kind of feel them out a little bit before you go on your first run. Just keep in mind that that is just an extra bonus, okay? There's nothing that's gonna replace your first run as far as appropriately breaking in your shoes. You wanna go out there and actually focus, deliberately focus on breaking in your shoes <clears throat> with that one easy uh, going running session, okay? That's gonna be the first official break in period of your shoes, okay? So just keep that in mind. Really focus on what we talked about before um, with that first run. And that's it guys, that's how I break in my shoes and that's how you tie a heel lock. Um, that's what I do with every pair of shoes I get um, that are brand new off the shelf. Again, just wanna make that quick video for you guys while I had the opportunity and it was on my mind. Uh, hopefully it's useful for you. If you're watching this and you have any other tips of your own or anything that you do particularly that has helped you when you're breaking your shoes, please go ahead and drop that in the comments for everybody so they can give that a shot themselves. If you guys are looking for uh, more tips and tricks or all things running, uh, I have tons of videos and content about running. You can check out these videos as examples. There's a lot of good information on there. I recommend that you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm an avid runner and I do a lot of running uh, content. But right now I'm running out of time. I gotta get my run in. So uh, besides that, I got nothing else for you and I'll see you on the next one.